Hi, it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for another Double Feature Friday, and this week I'm talking about two films that were written by Paul Schrader, but directed by other people. And those films are Taxi Driver and Rolling Thunder, which I don't have a physical copy. get into it. I feel like a lot has been said about Taxi Driver. I don't feel like I'm really um, equipped to talk about the nuances or maybe the psychology of this film. I had never seen it before this week, which is even to myself, that's shocking. I think it's like one of those films, actually I've never seen either of these films. Rolling Thunder, I didn't even know about. I mean, I wasn't even aware of it until a couple weeks ago. It obviously had no place in my, it wasn't taking up any real estate in my brain up until now. Taxi Driver, I had living in my brain for many years, taking up real estate, but I think I was always intimidated to watch it for some reason. I think because of things that I've heard about it over time, I thought it was, just maybe intellectually a little bit too advanced for me. And then also I sort of was under the impression that it was maybe more violent than it actually is. There is violence in it. If you haven't seen it, I think you should go watch it. I think, to be honest, I'm probably the only person, at least in my age range, that hadn't seen it. And so this was a good opportunity to actually finally watch this film. So let's talk about Taxi Driver first. It was directed by Martin Scorsese, released in 1976, stars Robert De Niro and uh, Sybil Shepard, who is so beautiful, honestly. Uh, oh my gosh, like stunning. Jodie Foster as a 13 year old prostitute. Harvey Keitel, Albert Brooks is in it, although to me, I guess I'm used to uh, older Albert Brooks because I didn't realize who I was near the end of the film and I was thinking, I haven't seen Albert Brooks in this film yet and then I realized who he was. <laughs> he looks like Albert Brooks, I don't know why, I, was, I, I just didn't clue in. Taxi Driver was very different than how I envisioned it to be. I thought it would actually be a tougher watch. I thought that it was going to be more brutal and violent and I think also the conversations around Jodie Foster's character made me think that maybe that her character sort of played a bigger role in the film which she does play a big role but it's kind of her screen time is like less than I pictured and also um, you see less of I guess I thought it would be more about her being like this teenage sex worker but I feel like it actually is kind of it shows less of that I will say when the violence got oh when the violence got going I was really overwhelmed and I did cry <laughs> it took me kind of by surprise because I had been expecting it the whole film and there was a little bit throughout the film but it wasn't until the very end and then when it got going it was almost the most realistic portrayal of violence that I've seen or one of the more realistic a lot of movies I watch with violence you kind of see it as movie violence. Like I can sort of appreciate that if this was a real world scenario, it maybe wouldn't go like that. But this sequence is a more accurate depiction of how that would actually play out if it was happening in real life. And honestly, some of it was more terrifying to me because I always I feel like being stabbed would be very awful. <laughs> it would be very uncomfortable. You probably wouldn't die right away. And that to me is scary but being shot getting shot is like a more immediate and less prolonged death i assume and i know that's not always the case but i always do feel like that's the truth that i tell myself or that's like the reality in my head there are people like de niro's character who are very much prevalent in today's culture um yeah that it's very frightening in a way to actually see this guy also his like downward spiral I guess if you want to call it that or his like descent into depravity I felt very um it was very well telegraphed and very realistic in in my opinion I really like that I think Paul Schrader is amazing if you haven't seen it you should definitely go watch it and then the next film is Rolling Thunder so before last week 
I hadn't even heard this film. This film came out in 77. It was also written by Paul Schrader, but it was directed by John Flynn and it stars William Devane, Tommy Lee Jones, and Linda Haynes. It is a story of a Vietnam vet returning from war. Um, they were uh, William Devane, um, William Devane and Tommy Lee Jones were both, their characters were both prisoners of war in Vietnam and they come back to America and they're sort of um, being celebrated as these American war heroes. But you can tell that they've been, you know, greatly affected by what they experienced in a prisoner of war camp and probably just being in Vietnam and fighting in a war in general. This film is just a depressing, I would say it's sort of a revenge film, but you don't get the normal satisfaction of a revenge film. It also feels very exploitation-y, but without being 100% exploitation-y, if that makes sense. I think I like films from the 70s and maybe just Paul Schrader's writing because it does have this realistic story arc, but then also you don't get sort of the happy ending. You get more of a realistic type ending. Um, especially in Rolling Thunder. I think Taxi Driver is a bit more ambiguous. It almost gives you a happy ending, but it's not really because you know that the, in kind of more, that the intentions weren't the way that it played out. But uh, yeah, what else can I, oh, Rolling Thunder. So I thought the casting of Rolling Thunder was also very good. Uh, William Devane, Tommy Lee Jones, and Linda Haynes especially. I mean, everyone was great in this film. But those three, like Linda Haynes did such a good job of just acting so natural. She just felt like such a real person on screen and like not at all like a character, like an actress playing a character. She's also very beautiful. I really enjoyed her performance and then also William Devane's performance alongside, well, her performance alongside him, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I thought they did such a good job together and Tommy Lee Jones is not in this film a lot, but I thought he was just perfect for this role. This film also, there's not that much violence throughout. There's kind of some at the beginning and it's really uncomfortable to watch. It's necessary. It's like the driving force for the remainder of the movie. And then there's violence at the end, which goes by pretty quickly. Yeah, I thought it was a great film. I thought it was... You know, both of these films are more on the depressing side, so I'm not going to say this is a fun double feature Friday, but I do think that they're both wonderful films and definitely worth checking out. Um, obviously, Taxi Driver has been talked about to death over the years. Everyone just has good things to say about it. Rolling Thunder, I think, is sort of like this overlooked film that shouldn't be. It's really wonderful. It is depressing, but it sort of hits that mark for me where it just feels like this realistic ending to this film. I feel like I'm maybe more of a realist uh, than an optimist because I do like that realistic, not happy ending. It's maybe a little bit more open-ended or ambiguous, which I always think is nice. I don't really have that much more to say. These are both two excellent films. I would say check them both out. I think I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, if you haven't seen them, definitely worth a watch. I guess that's it for me for this week. Bye for now.